I was hiding. <laughs> uh, examples are gonna be um how to kind of uh make a play based off what you know your opponent's gonna do, right? So you know your opponent's gonna do a thing. You have a way to counter that, and you go through with it, right? That's kind of the idea. And uh, this is kind of stems off from if you can read your opponent, then you can proceed to this one. So this is like a habit building on top of an important habit, which is reading what your opponent's doing, right? So if you watch the other videos we went over reading your opponent, it's like they have an attack, you are going to flash like their hook or whatever, and then you're good to go. This is like you know what they're going to do in general, and then you can formulate your attack, all right? So check it out. Um, the first one, we're going to start with the spicy one, okay? So here, see if you can spot what we are reading here. What do we know about Sivir? What do we know she's going to do, right? Oh, we know she's going to walk up and wave clear. Oh, so we went invisible, tumbled from, you know, we, we ulted, tumbled to go invisible, and then we flashed in, yeah? And so we're just legit in their base ending the game now, all of a sudden, right? Because we know she's going to walk up and hit the minion, I believe that without a doubt in my mind. Is there anything I can do? To counter is there anything i can do to punish immediately and i was like yes i'm gonna go invisible i'm gonna run at her i'm gonna flash for the blade of the ring king right uh, and then just you know queuing queuing the brand stone was just icing on the cake right that was just instinct all right so we're gonna go on to the next one this is actually uh part of our original example which is just countering their attack we're not actually making uh, an attack off their attack but es essentially countering their attack is you know almost the same as attacking them because they once they once they fuck up you just kill them right so check this one out so what do you think they're going to do here? We'll go through the, the video real quick and then we'll rewind. Right? Yada, yada, yada. Oh, beautiful. Almost frame perfect. Wow. I'm a beast. That's pretty hot. Okay. So yeah, uh, what happened there? We know that Shen is taunting in the middle of nowhere. He's so... Co he's, we're, we're convinced he's going to flash for it. No matter what. We're convinced he's going to flash forward. Check it out. Because if he doesn't flash forward, he's taunting forward, and Nico's going to fuck him up anyways. So uh, in this case, we always flash, because even if he's trying to debate our flash, Nico's got him. Hopefully, right? So uh, that's kind of like, you know he has one way to attack, which is taunt flash. You just make sure you have a way to answer that, right? You can do something like uh, traps here for Kaisa. You can do that, although it's probably not going to work if she flashes over, right? Um, or, you know, for me, this is just, we're just going to flash and then they're stuck with a play that doesn't work. Right. So easy clap, so to speak. Right. We're going to watch it again. If you guys, uh, like this eye candy, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Pog champ. Yeah. 60 ping. Yeah, it's, it's really obvious. They have only one way to attack. Easy way to counter. Okay. And here's the last one. And last example. These are all games we came up with today. So if they're not perfect, you know, that's why this is another one. This is kind of both. Um, uh, those traps are just in case she was jumping. Uh, let's let's check it out what's going on here. So we all know that Katarina does damage by jumping to her daggers, right? How can we abuse this here? If we stand on the dagger, what do you think she's going to do? She's going to look to jump to her dagger, right? So how can we beat that? Well, <laughs> if you see a common theme here, we have flash to outplay that, right? And how can we kind of use our flash to beat this? but also just not waste flash and uh if you see you know we're playing jinx there's a tower dying uh i think you see where this is going right so check it out we stand on the dagger intentionally and then immediately flash in to kill her and how come she can't kill us she has no idea what's happening all she's looking at here is this dagger right so if you, if you freeze frame here you see how she's walking up like this she's looking at this yeah and me i'm looking like this i'm looking like this i'm looking at like uh, one yellow and then two is blue or red or whatever which is two is like this okay and uh we're like okay i know what he's gonna do without a doubt in my mind i have a way to beat that we can execute right so he this you see how like it looks really empty because you know he could have done something but because he's so fixated on this dagger look he's still running to the dagger to e towards it that he didn't react and i already I already killed the tire and i'm already hitting him right and because I have these extra hits on him, there's no way, there's no way he can kill us. You know, we even have heal. So, um, yeah, uh, this is definitely one of the main habits you need, no matter what. Like, if you are a hard stuck diamond, you're definitely missing this, right? If you're not diamond, you're also missing this, all right? So, uh, master this, and you can kind of, uh, you know, easy clap your opponent. This is, this is just literally the outplay part of the game. They do something, you know, you can beat it by doing this 
execute, right? So that's the habit. They're going to try and do something. You have a way to beat it. Go for it. If you can't come up with a way to beat it, that's fine. You're just thinking about it is good enough, right? You want to start thinking about it and come up with creative situations. Like you've seen these, you've seen so many of these situations from montages and replays and highlights that you can formulate something creative, okay? So go for it and try this out and let me know how you guys are doing, right?